Umsum was playing in the garden when he tripped and scraped his knee. It stung for a moment, and a thin red line appeared on his skin. A few drops of blood trickled out, but after a few days the wound began to close on its own. <laughs> Amazed, he wondered, why do our wounds heal? Determined to find out, Umsum shrank and entered his own body. He landed near the injured spot on his knee. White blood cells and platelets were rushing toward the wound like huh? rescuers on a mission. The platelets arrived first. They quickly formed a soft, sticky layer across the cut, creating a clot that stopped the bleeding. Then, the white blood huh? cells moved in. They Ooh. swallowed any dirt or germs that had entered, protecting the wound from infection. Then, beneath the clot, skin cells called fibroblasts started building fresh tissue made of collagen. Slowly, this new tissue began to fill in the gap left by the injury. The edges of the skin started to pull closer together, like a zipper closing. Over the next few days, the clot on the surface dried and turned into a scab. It acted like a shield, covering the delicate new tissue underneath while it continued to grow. Eventually, the scab loosened and fell off, revealing smooth pink skin underneath. Leaping back outside, Umsum smiled proudly. <laughs> Umsum was sitting quietly on a bench when suddenly a strange sound echoed from his belly. Huh? Shocked, he wondered, why does our stomach growl? Determined to find out, he shrank and entered his own body. He landed inside the stomach. The place looked almost empty, with only thin traces of food clinging to the walls. Around him, large muscles formed thick folds, huh? and they were beginning to move restlessly. Umsum watched as they tightened and relaxed, pushing the space into motion. Suddenly, the brain commanded the stomach to get ready for food. The walls obeyed. They squeezed and churned strongly, just like they did after a meal. Amsum stumbled as the powerful muscles rippled around him, shaking the empty chamber. Air and leftover digestive juices sloshed together noisily, creating echoes that bounced from wall to wall. Omsum covered his ears as the growls rumbled all around him. He followed the vibrations downward and saw the small intestine also joining in. The walls of the intestine pushed and squeezed sending ripples forward. This process, called peristalsis, was the body's way of moving food along. But with no food present, it only pushed air and liquid, creating even more rumbling noises. Amsum finally understood the reason. The body was basically preparing itself for food. With a gentle leap, Amsum came out of his body, smiling <laughs> proudly. Amsum was fast asleep one night when his dreams suddenly twisted into frightening shapes. He found himself running through endless shadows, chased by creatures that made no sense. Huh? He woke up with his heart pounding and wondered, why do we get nightmares? Determined to find out, Amsum drifted back into sleep and floated deep into his own mind. All around him were glowing bubbles of thoughts and memories. He entered a vast chamber where dreams were created. At <laughs> first the place seemed calm, with bright colors and playful scenes dancing in the bubbles. Huh? But then the shadows stirred, and from the darkness rose swirling waves of worry and stress. The shadows swept across the chamber, tossing broken memories and scraps of fear into the dream chamber. Peaceful pictures warped into strange, scary scenes. Amsum tried to steady himself, but the shadows grew stronger, feeding on every anxious thought. The chamber spun into chaos, and Amsum was pulled into a whirlwind of nightmares. He tumbled through the storm, chased by twisting shapes, each one built from fragments of his own memories. Then, Amsum noticed something important. The brain sometimes mixes worries or stresses into dreams, turning them into nightmares. 
By testing scary situations, the mind learns how to stay alert and safe. With this realization, the storm of shadows began to fade and the dream chamber slowly brightened. When Aum Sum huh? awoke, he was smiling proudly <laughs> as he had solved the nightmare mystery.